This is Homo sapiens, the world's top species, possessing capabilities unmatched by any other animal on Earth. Some animals are stronger and some have better vision, but they can't match the higher functions of the human brain, like learning capability or memory. Or can they? This footage from a research facility in Japan proves that chimpanzees possess previously unknown mental capabilities. The apes have been taught the number sequence 1 through 9. Regardless of where the numbers appear, they can press them in the correct order. But that's not what's new here. During the next test, the apes only get to observe the numbers for about a second before they're covered up. But that's enough. Seemingly without effort, they point to the correct number time and time again. Humans do considerably worse when taking the test. We cannot match the photographic memory of chimpanzees. An amazing capability, which scientists, as of yet, just cannot explain. Fewer and fewer people now believe that the human race is the crown jewel of creation. A group of scientists, led by Charles Darwin, brought about a completely different way to view humanity. But people still cling to the notion that we have distinct qualities which separate us from animals. Maybe it's understandable that we consider ourselves to be unique. Using our brains and our hands, we've been able to construct incredible cities, build vehicles for transportation, and create light sources to illuminate the nights. If we want to find the starting point for our technology, there may be no better place than this dry rift valley in northern Tanzania. Olduvai has uh, been uh, considered a unique uh, place to have uh, an unbroken sequence of the evolution of uh, our cultures. People have been coming here for millions of years and it's impossible to move around without finding traces of ancient technology. Yeah, uh, this is a very prolific area. As you can see, it is full of tools. Now, here is a tool, this is a chopper, uh, because uh, it has been flecked from this side to make uh, an edge that will be used probably for breaking bones. This is a beautiful one, and you would use this as a hammerstone, and uh, I am sure this was used as a hammerstone, because you can see the battery, you know. And you would use this to detach a small flake, which you would probably use as a knife. The effectiveness of Olduvan tools is being tested halfway around the world. This deer will be carved up using a technique that's two million years old. We're trying to recreate exactly the mode that our ancestors used to make and use stone tools. So this is the dawn of human technology. This is, these are the earliest stages of technology you can see in the archaeological record. Just taking two pebbles from a river, cracking them together, and knocking off these sharp bits and pieces. 
People are always amazed. They think of stone tools as primitive, but these are some of the sharpest edges you can ever create. I'm trying to cut off the forelimb. First, I have to cut through the hair and into the flesh. This is the experimental approach in archaeology, trying to put stone tools to the test, trying to see what they're good for, and uh, butchering activity like this was probably one of the real things that set off our technological pathway. It only takes a few minutes to remove the front leg, and that says a lot about our ancestors. Well, that they were very ingenuous and very successful with their stone tools. Olduvai is an important place, and finds made here can put a face on the ancient tool makers. Knowing the stratigraphy is very, very important for an archaeologist because it shows you where you are in time. So if these artifacts are coming from those sediments, then they're contemporary with Homo habilis, Olduvai hominid 7, which is the prototype of Homo habilis. Homo habilis, or handyman, lived and died among these tools and came to symbolize what makes humans unique. It was thought that no other species could utilize objects in nature to gather food. But we now know that to be incorrect. Since the 1960s, primatologists have observed apes in Africa using tools on an everyday basis. The particular example of tool use that I'm interested in is called nut cracking. It's probably one of the most complex forms of tool use in the wild because it involves you know, the combination of three different objects, at least, um, which have to be combined in a particular um, order, you know, you have to put the nut on top of the stone and then you have to get another stone and hit the nut with that. You can't have it in any other combination. So it's quite astonishing, I think. Look. Scientists are now exploring the use of tools among our more distant relatives. These crows are a unique species and they come from an island in the Pacific Ocean, the island of New Caledonia. And for reasons which we are trying to understand, they developed a tendency to solve all kinds of problems, but particularly extractive problems of food, using tools as opposed to working exclusively with their beaks. So the task that we're testing them with um, here is one where they've got a little bucket like this, which will have food in. And the bucket's at the bottom of this deep hole in the apparatus. So the only way that they can get this bucket out and get the food is if they use a tool. So I'm giving them a stick, which has a small projection at one end and is nothing at the other end. And so it's a very simple question. It's simply, do the, will the crows use a stick the right way round? What is about to happen goes beyond beavers building dams or ants building anthills. Those are instinctual activities and lack the problem-solving aspects observed in these crows. No one knows exactly what is going on in the crows' brains. The deep question underlying what we're studying is whether non-human animals can form some kind of understanding of the way in which the world works, some kind of deep um, principles about it. Or an alternative approach might be that they have just learned purely through trial and error. It's apparent that their brains are far more complex than previously thought. Not only can these birds use tools, they can also construct them.